Hey guys, I'm meteorologist Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And of course, we're going to touch on the potential for a northeast storm system. We'll look at the western ridge and everything in the west will start to turn more active. There's a little bit of a, uh, a wave of moisture that'll sneak through the ridge today, tomorrow, uh, mainly tomorrow, but then more active after the 24th through probably the 1st of December with a couple different storm systems during that that time frame. So we'll look at all that uh, in the uh, the update here coming uh, coming up in just a bit. But here is the view on the infrared satellite. So what you see there is the big ridge protecting the Pacific Northwest and most of the West, in fact. But look at the low pressure coming in. That one will actually push moisture beneath and break part of the, the top of the ridge and that'll hit the Pacific Northwest in BC tonight into tomorrow. That'll be the start, the beginning of the end for this high pressure. Eventually it gets pushed to the south and the whole storm track will then open up. But a lot of the energy that's coming out of the west will then dump out to the east and become the potential for a storm system um, just after Thanksgiving. And, and I've been looking at that very carefully. Let me just show you, um, I talked about it this morning, chrystomer.com on my blog, Northeast Uncertainty and the western bridge breaking down. You can take a look at that. And so this is the uh, the jet setup. Let's just focus for a second on the northeast. So here's the jet setup, 1125. So day after Thanksgiving, there's a big dip in the jet. So there's a few things to mention here. Um, one, when you see a pattern like this, it's obvious something's happening. Uh, the second thing is, it doesn't necessarily mean that it's gonna turn into a big storm system, but it could. So you might call it a, a watch rather than a warning. A watch means that a lot of the conditions are ripe or certain factors are in place. But a warning would mean that it's imminent. We're not at a warning phase right now on this. We're watching it. Um, and so here, <laughs> this is really fascinating. So this is my mountain snow forecast as of today. Um, this is the 21st through the 27th. A few comments on this. Obviously, there's barely any snow there. Let me show you what I discussed this morning on my blog, and I think this will really paint the picture. So I did an interesting thing here. I did a slider. You should go on and look at this. So yesterday afternoon, I did a forecast update because a lot of the data went very aggressive with the storm system, and I wanted to get it on the blog because I figured that there would be some oscillation. Indeed, there, there has been, but look, the forecast yesterday had about a foot of snow at a lot of the big resorts in the Northeast. Same time period, 21st to the 27th. Today, look at the slider. That's where I'm at right now. Yesterday, today. That's how inconsistent and uncertain this is. It's, again, a watch. It's not a warning phase yet. So I went into that on the, uh, the blog. I also went into the, rest, the Western Ridge situation, and so we'll go back to that, and I'll show you uh, what I'm thinking. Here's the uh, forecast, and this is a complete pattern shift, pattern change by late in the month, the 29th here, big trough where there was once a ridge. This would support widespread snow in most places and much colder air if this happens. Um, so that's a possibility. Um, back to the blog and we'll go into timing and here it is so I'll take you into this watch the future radar and the satellite here 11:22 at 6 a.m. Tuesday here's Wednesday morning again there's a little wave that sneaks through the ridge there into Montana and Wyoming and then it's gone uh, there's Friday at 6 there's Saturday at 6 here comes the bigger change and we're starting to see it right there. Look at that big spiral up in the Pacific Northwest. So we're starting to see some overrunning with precip into the interior. It's not heavy initially at all, but it's definitely a sign that things are changing. One more time. Watch this little package that comes out of the Pacific Northwest. Here it comes. Idaho, Montana, Wyoming. It's possible it brushes the central and northern mountains of Colorado. There's a lot of uncertainty with that, but it's moving fast. It's moisture starved. Now here comes again. The pattern starts to shift a little bit, 24, 25, 26, and then it will get more profound by the end of the month. So that's what I'm watching. Then I went into forecast snow for the west, so I'll load that in. Uh, you can kind of see what uh, I'm thinking. So this is the 21st, all of today through the 23rd. 
very light snow accumulation, except for the Pacific Northwest and BC. Everybody else is pretty light through the 23rd. All right, here is the second phase. This is the 24th through the 29th. Big change. Widespread snow. Um, in Colorado, we're looking at 4 to 10. I'm assuming that this sets up right. About a foot for the Tetons and the Wasatch, about a foot in the Sierra, about a foot um, up in the parts of uh, uh, Banff and in the Pacific Northwest a bit more, obviously. But this will be a great thing to see, more widespread snow with a complete pattern change um, after the 24th, and that would run us into probably the 1st of December. All right, I'll keep my eye on the Northeast. That's been a fascinating thing to watch. I always appreciate you guys uh, taking time to tune in here. Take care.